we get to a lightweight bout between Conor McGregor and Tony Ferguson. So here he is, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. What a career this man has carved out since his time on The Ultimate Fighter. One season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter and picked up exactly where he left off. Dusting qualified lightweights left and right. The guy only knows one direction. It is forward. He is impossible to fatigue as Tony Ferguson graces the octagon once again tonight. This guy has ruthless one-punch knockout power. You can't teach it, but when a fighter has it, it's a huge advantage. With self-belief for days, here is the notorious Conor McGregor, simultaneous two-division champion in the UFC. Nobody has done that before. Probably the best left hand in the game, whether you're a featherweight or a welterweight, you do not want to get hit with that left from the notorious Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor has that it factor, along with a fantastic and creative striking game, a very good ground game, and extreme confidence in himself. All these make for a fan favorite combination. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Ferguson is four years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. Now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Pete LeVay. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's an easy first. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Orange County, California, Tony El Kukui Ferguson! And now he his opponent, fighting out of the left corner. This man is a kickboxer. Holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting at a Dublin Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back. This has been one of the most highly anticipated matchups for a long time. And ladies and gentlemen, strap yourselves in, because it's about to go down right now. You ready? Dateline, London, England, good to have you with us as always as we get underway with live action from the O2 Arena. So ever since winning season 13 of The Ultimate Fighter, the finishes have continued to pile up for Tony Ferguson. He is must-see TV, as offensively gifted as any fighter on the roster, and has as good a cardio department as anybody on the roster. We'll see how Ferguson chooses to approach this particular challenge tonight. Nice. Joe, how do you think he approaches this challenge tonight? Conor McGregor has a very diverse striking arsenal. He has very good kicking technique. 
They are trading huge punches here. Damaging strike there. Oh, how good is that jab by Tony Ferguson? He's down! That one hurt. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Good defense there. It's home. Combinations here. Oh, very nice. How about that shin? High kick. Just over two minutes to go. Nice jab. Hand lands flush over the top. Oh, nice job with the leg kick, and he will continue to try to beat up that lead leg. He'll go outside, he'll go inside. We expect that to be a big part of his attack and strategy in this one. Pretty good straight punch there by McGregor. Ferguson's leg appears to be hurt here, Joe. That is an obvious limp. Caught that one on the forearm. And he's looking for that left. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change things up here with his footwork, with his tempo. He continues to be... Oh, oh big shot! shot! This could be it right here. This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. Very nice. attempt just misses. Horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's see some of the action here. And here's another beautiful leg kick. And there's another excellent leg kick. Really excellent striking being displayed in that round. Brittany Palmer in the building. You ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. That last round was absolutely insane. If this round gets off to anything like the last round, one of these guys is going out. I can't imagine a scenario where if they continue where they left off in the last round, and one of these guys doesn't get knocked out. The right hook to the body. Place kick there by Ferguson. Well, some have gotten through, Joe. This shot is blocked. Working out of that southpaw stance. Blocks the shot. Just missed with the straight left hand. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Ferguson's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by McGregor. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Ferguson. Oh, both men exchange. Fainting with that kick. El Kukui gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Wow! 
That left high kick came out of nowhere. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You've got to get that head off the center line. attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. He is going after it here. Oh, nice slip there to avoid oh, the punch. Oh, him again. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's got to be careful here. And Ferguson, I have to say, absorbing those strikes quite well. Oh, oh he's tagging him. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Got his back. Trying to get under the chin. Got the arm underneath the chin. Boy, right, that's the end of round number two. So as good a round as you can draw up. He had the knockdown early. Great round there from McGregor. Yeah, that knockdown should have won him the round. It was a big yeah. moment in the fight. Let's take a look at that again. Let's see it one more time. Carly Baker in the building tonight. Thank you very much. point of this fight. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Remaining active here in his pursuit of the submission. Another attempt here. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Look at this, though. Oh! Oh, this is not good at all. Oh, and my God! Will do it! An excellent job in setting up the arm bar and getting the tap. Yeah, Joe, I would agree. High-level stuff, the way he worked there to isolate the arm, secure it, and ultimately force the tap. The arm bar finish comes here in this round. Hard to do it much prettier than he did just there. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap.
So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Tony! Well, what else can be said about Tony Ferguson? Congratulations to El Kukui, who gets yet another UFC win here tonight. And I think the conditioning is where I'd at least like to start. I mean, this man has cardio for days. Looked like he could have gone 10 rounds here tonight. Didn't need 50 minutes to accomplish the goal. Tony Ferguson celebrating with Eddie Bravo and the rest after yet another massive performance here tonight.